G'day. In this lesson, what we're going to be having a look at is square numbers, squares and square roots. And these are pretty easy, but a really important thing for you to understand when you're doing maths. For, so first off, a square number. A square number is a number which is multiplied by itself. And they call it a square number because if you can imagine a square, I'll draw a square. Okay, so we have a square there. And if we were working out the area of this number, what we'd do is we'd go the length times the width, yeah? So say the length of this number was two meters and the width of it was two meters, the way we'd work this out is we'd go two times two and this would be equal to four. Okay, so this is what a square number is. It's just a number multiplied by itself. But we have a bit of a shortcut for this using index notation. Uh, what we're saying is we would say here that this is two to the power of two, which is equal to four, okay? This is two multiplied by itself two times. So what about a, another example here? Another example of a square number we could think of say being, uh, what's this, how would you write? Seven squared, so you could say, okay, this is seven squared, which is equal to seven times seven. Okay, pretty simple, which is equal to 49. And that's all square numbers are. They're fairly simple. Don't get too thrown by them, but it's a very, very important thing to do. I think a lot of mistakes a lot of students make is they look and go, this is just seven times two. No, we wanted to write seven times two, we'd write seven times two. This means seven multiplied by itself, two times seven times seven. So the opposite of a square number is a square root. So let me show you the way that these look here. So we know that seven squared equals seven times seven, which is equal to 49. The square root would be written like this. So pretty much a square root of 49 would be equal to seven. What number do we multiply by itself to get 49 here? And that's what we're asking with the square root. What number do we multiply by itself to get that number here. So I'll give you another example here. What is the square root of 100? What number do you multiply by itself to get 100? And you could say, okay, the answer of this is 10 because 10 times 10 is equal to 100 here, okay? And we could write this 10 times 10 as 100 squared. So hopefully you got that. It's a nice, simple uh, little idea, but a really, easy one to get muddled up with. Just once again, understand that this squared here means 10 multiplied by itself. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.